to say I'm buying a meat means I'm abusing animals is too direct. It's an indirect, um, it's, it's indirect abuse of animals that when... So it's abuse of animals? One. Yes. <laughs> no, I love steak. I like steak because you know I like... consciousness? You know when you brown a steak and a nice crust on it? You like the taste? Black pepper and some red wine, it's good. So you like the taste of animal abuse? Love it. Come on, come have a chat. How are you? Hi. What's your name, mate? Peter. Hello, Peter. Hi. Yeah, are you happy to be filmed? Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. What did you think about this sign? What, the sign there? Did you agree or disagree with the sign that if you're not vegan, you, are, you abuse animals? I don't understand it. Okay, so I'm saying that if you're not a vegan, yep. meaning you don't uh, consciously pay for animals to be exploited and killed, yeah. um, that you abuse animals. Well, uh, I'm wondering whether you mean mammals. Uh, mammals? Yeah. No, I mean, I, I mean animals, all animals. Every so fish and, animal. and avian uh, birds. Yeah, what about oysters? Um, well, let's start off. Before we go all the way yeah. down the chain to oysters, yeah. um, do you agree or disagree with the sign? I'm talking about all animals. Well, no, I don't agree with a sign that doesn't... Uh, that is so all-encompassing when I kill flies in my house. Okay. That's a good thing to do. I kill okay. cockroaches in my house. Okay. You know, that's a good thing to do. Okay. I keep a cat. It's an obligate carnivore. Okay. That's a good thing to do. I love my cat a hell okay. of a lot, right? So there's okay. a whole lot of those things, right? Okay. So when I see a sign like that, I, it, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make complete sense. No. Do you eat steak? Yeah, love okay. steak. So why don't we start there? Yep. Because you're going to flies and you're going to cockroaches yep. and you're yep. going to oysters and you're going yep. to your cat. Oh no, also <coughs> bacon. I love bacon too. Okay. So let's start yep. there. Yeah. Because yep. it's a be better place to start. Well, no, it's not a better place to start. It's mammal centric. No, I want to start with those animals okay, well, you first. Start with mammals. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can go down to good, yeah. insects yep. that Happy you might accidentally that. step on. Happy to do that. So when you pay for animals yep. to be killed on your behalf, do you yep. think that that's abusing them? No. Okay, why not? Because we've always done it. We've always done it. Yeah. We've humans, always killed each humans other. Have always killed animals. Humans have always killed each other. Not each other. I said animals. How long has murder been happening between humans? Oh, I would not know. We've always done it. Do you believe that? War. How long's war been happening? Well, I just don't know. But uh, did we? Did did humans kill each other a million years ago? Well, I could guarantee your tribes were warring with each other and murdering each other. Yeah. So. When we were primates, we were doing that. Well, all I'm saying is you, your justification for killing animals was we've always done it. No, humans have always done it. Humans have always done it. Humans yeah. have always done a lot of horrible things, yeah, haven't we? I don't we? know that you can say humans have always killed other humans. Do you think that because we've done something traditionally that it's morally justified? Not always. For instance, we, in this society, have had institutional racism for a very long time. We've always done it. But we have found a way to okay. not do it. Okay. So, well, how does that justify, how does we always have done it justify animal cruelty and abuse and killing, but well, not justify them, racism? One of them is about diet, isn't it? Well, no, this is about ethics. It extends to your diet, but I'm talking about ethics. You say it's about ethics, I'm saying it's about diet. Well, we abuse and kill animals for clothing and we exploit them for other reasons as well. Um, yeah, that's true. We do do that for other yeah, things. Yeah, so it's not just about I diet. So no, well, it's, but but it is significantly about diet. Oh, definitely. If we didn't eat animals, we wouldn't be doing all the other things. Well, not necessarily, but maybe, I maybe. I think we'd be doing those other things. If we didn't eat animals for a moral reason, then we wouldn't exploit animals in other cases for moral reason. Well, I think that the economic case wouldn't stack up. Well, maybe. So, like. We, as a vegan, we don't, it's not a diet. Veganism's a moral principle. I do know that. Yeah. Veganism is a way of life. It's not a diet. I yeah. absolutely yeah. get that. So See, I think vegetarianism is completely reasonable. It's a diet. Is a diet. I don't think it's reasonable. Yeah, I know you don't. Because these are egg-laying hens. I, I completely understand yeah. that vegans do not accept vegetarians. Okay, because these are bobby calves that have been murdered from the dairy industry. Yeah, they're, they're, they're waste. Yeah. I know. I, I actually worked in an abattoir. Oh, did you? Many years ago. Okay. Yeah. Not a nice place to work. Don't like it. Still eat steak? Yep. You don't think there's anything wrong with it? Nah. You don't think there's anything wrong with robbing someone's life or so you can eat when you've got other options? Well, when you say someone's life, who's someone? This little baby here, this mother here. Not someone, that's a cow. Exactly. So this is the mentality that leads us to exploit and kill each other and to kill animals? Oh, I don't agree with that. So why did white people enslave black people? Because they could. 
because they had a mentality what, towards them. White people and enslaved black people. Why do humans enslave each other? Humans did it because it was an economic condition of humanity at a particular time okay. in history. Okay. So why do we enslave uh, animals? Well, you see, you're putting a premise for an argument that I don't accept. So do you, you don't agree with humans exploiting and killing each other, right? For some moral reason? I don't uh, believe that slavery is a good thing to do. Okay. I don't believe in cannibalism. So why don't you think slavery I is... I in a country where cannibalism was rife okay. too. Okay. Yeah, I don't agree with that. Make it right either. Yeah. But they've always done it. Well, no, they didn't always do it. They haven't always eaten each other? No. You don't think there's ever been instances where people have... Uh, cannibalistic tribes have gone out and killed and eaten well, each other? Well, there's quite a degree of evidence that cannibalism is both uh, ritualistic in some cases okay. and in other cases is something that people say they do over there but we okay. don't do so it's a slur on other people. I'm, I'm trying to use your logic yeah. in another context to yeah. point out why it's uh, contradictory. Yes but your problem is that you're saying they're someone and I'm saying they're not someone. Well I, I guarantee you that they are sentient beings who want to live well, they have a consciousness. They have a consciousness, they experience pain, they want to avoid suffering, they I'm get sad and hungry. pain, yeah, I'm quite certain they do. I live with animals. Okay. So I know animals, I've, I've got, uh, I, I grew up with animals. But you... you shouldn't be treating them cruelly. Why not? None of that, none of that that you're showing is acceptable. Well, but for this instance, is standard practice. Have you never slaughtered an animal? Have I, yeah, I've gone fishing, I've killed animals, I, yep. I regret it. You regret uh, fishing? Yeah, I regret it a lot. Really? Oh, blimey, nothing like a bit of nice pan-fried fish. I dragged them out the ocean, suffocated them, stabbed them, and I, just for no reason, really. Yeah, they're not really sentient. Sorry? Fish they're aren't sentient? sentient. No. Fish don't feel pain? No. Science will disagree with you? Well, fish feel stimuli. But anyway... Yeah, we've gone still, to fish. Let's still, look, we've look. We've gone down to fish. We're you, still you, dealing you said, with things with backbones. You think that these animals yep. shouldn't be treated cruelly for some reason. What is that reason? Well, because it's wrong to treat anything cruelly. Okay, and it's not cruel to bolt gun them in the skull and slash their throat open? Well, I think there is a way to do it that isn't as cruel as the way they do it. There's crueler ways to kill, of there's course. Cruel, there's better and worse ways to kill. Okay, but do you think that even the best way, it's cruel to rob someone of their life? No, so you keep using someone, I don't accept your premise. But do you think they shouldn't be treated cruelly for some reason? If they ain't someone, who gives a f well, again, I don't see. You know I, don't what I, mean? accept, I don't accept someone. Yeah, but I think this is where the premise. Our argument falls down because the premise is different. Well, I'm just saying, that you give these animals enough moral value that they shouldn't yep. be treated cruelly. For some reason, if yep. they're not someone, who cares? I'm frustrated because I came to talk about oysters. Yeah, yeah, but we can go. No, 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 no. This is what people will try to do. They go to oysters where there's like maybe a there's a debate whether they're sentient. Okay, there's some nerve ganglia. They could feel pain. They might not. You know. But I want to start at cows that you eat steak with, because yeah. this is this is why do you do that? Why do you do that when you agree they shouldn't be treated cruelly? I actually think you're missing a really important point and a really important trick. Because if we start with oysters, I can take you to another place no. that's very interesting, that could be cruel, that you probably people probably should think about. That that maybe we'd have more common ground with this stuff. Well, I don't. You're not prepared to because you are very, very uh, centred on animals with backbones. Well, I just I say think I'm. It's a very I'm important point to look at. No, not just backbones. You're looking at it. Uh, well, which animal doesn't you, have a, you know an octopus? Let's just say an octopus. They don't have a backbone, yeah. No, they don't. Yeah, I think they're sentient and feel pain. I wouldn't want to hurt them either. Uh, well, you see, that's you need to look up the chain, right? From the oysters, you can go up to there and find an animal without a backbone, right? But you guys aren't showing anything about uh, about. And octopuses. I'll tell you why. The most intelligent creatures. No, we, we do have a seafood bit, bit here. Yeah, we yeah, do yeah. have a sea. It's a little bit down the line here. Yeah, but anyway, why why are, why are we stuck on cows? Because cows. I want us to talk about your steak first. Yeah. You know, and you, you won't move from there. You think they're not someone, but they shouldn't be treated cruelly, which yes. is a very contradictory statement. No, I don't think that's contradictory yeah. at all. So why do you care about them at all? Since we put people in jail, but we shouldn't treat, treat them cruelly. Animals are innocent. Well, animals, they, they are a innocent. Innocence doesn't come into it. Animals are innocent. It doesn't come into it. When you pay for animal you're products... You're innocence with animals. You're paying for these people to be cruel to animals. You know that, right? You're paying for people to be cruel to animals. Well, you're against you cruelty. know, when you say I'm paying, I'm buying steak. Right? You're paying for animal cruelty. Paying production that goes all the way down there. You pay people to stab and torture animals. Yeah, but I'd rather they didn't.
but you pay for it, so you're contradicting yourself in your own moral framework. I'm not contradicting myself in my own moral framework. That's completely explain right. how not. I can explain my not because I'm paying for the steak, not for the cruelty. When you buy a steak, you pay for cruelty. There's yeah. no escaping that. Okay, can you see this thing that you're holding? Okay. The minerals, the materials, are you going to go there? Well, can, explain the argument to me. Okay, would you point at this microphone if I was speaking up against children being abused and go, well, what about this microphone? It's called, it's called an appeal to hypocrisy. Right. But you're understanding that. You're understanding. Do you, ha do you have any. Do you, what about this? iPad, yep. A lot okay. Of cruelty in that. There's cruelty in your iPad? Yep, yep. Cruelty in everything around here. Okay. So that's a, you know, that's a appeal to futility. You're saying it's futile. You can't stop all cruelty, so you, we, I might as well keep eating steak. It's an extremist thing, and that's the problem with veganism. It's extremist. It you can, goes to an extreme. Yeah. Show me the cruelty in this. This is wool. Show, show me the cru This is wool? Yeah. yeah. That was torn from an animal. I don't agree with wool. Um, probably half of it's plastic and half of it's cotton. But it was made by people who were treated appallingly in the making of it, probably shirt manufacturers okay, so, and buggers. So you don't have a moral framework then? You think everything's well, cruel? You're wearing the same sort of clothes. Would you avoid being cruel to a dog because uh, I have this microphone and you have this... So well, I'm saying, you're saying that moral sh morals are... Everything's immoral, basically. Is that what you're saying? No, I'm saying there's levels of immorality all around exactly. us, everywhere, exactly. in everything we exist And what in. is as direct as paying right. for the body of someone who wanted to live? What is as direct as that? Well, you see, again, you see someone, someone. You, you, you know, your premise is not acceptable. I won't reduce animals to no one so you can I justify think, being abusive you, towards them. won't reduce them to that, but that's why the argument can't be... They don't want to lie. They don't, they don't want to die. These animals, they're trying to escape. Yeah, oysters probably don't this want to die. It's a gas die. chamber. Yeah. This is what you pay for in Australia when you yeah. buy pork. I'm aware of this. You, you're consciously paying for animals yeah. to suffer yeah. in a yeah. gas chamber. Well, I'm not consciously paying for it. Well, you I'm are now. I'm aware of it now, yes. Yeah. This is why I'm here. Yes. Yeah, I know that's why you're here. Before you wouldn't have known about this. Yeah, I told you I worked in an abattoir. But you said you didn't know about this. Well, the particular, that's a little detail. I know about this stuff. So I'm you are not, conscious. You yeah. said you weren't conscious. No, now I you are. I don't spend my time being conscious. So you do consciously pay for animal abuse. That's all I'm trying to get. No, no, no. no. See, this is you're just. This is. I'm not going around in circles. I'm following your logic. A ridiculous thing to say. I'm not consciously paying for animal abuse. When you pay for steak, animals are being tortured and killed for that yes, steak. But I don't make the chain. You know, animals have been tortured and killed for that steak. No, and there's know. nothing more direct. And by the way, uh, do you think they're deliberately being tortured and killed? 100%. There has, to be, there has to be cruelty for mass production of animals to, to exist. Well, I don't know if that's true. Well, they, they rape them, they take their children from them, they uh, dehorn them, they de-beak them, they, they cut their tails off, they snip their teeth out. Except your premise. This is cruel. This is cruel. Doesn't make it right. I'm saying this is standard practice. So what? You're paying for animals to be abused. This is the yeah. whole premise of the, yes, the debate. Yes, yes, well, no, it's the premise of your debate. Were you sitting down here trying to justify this? Well, I came here to talk about oysters, but I still can't talk about oysters because... This you is animal agriculture. You have to talk about everything that yeah, you could... This is the main thing. ...on a premise that I would come here to talk about oysters, and I did want to talk about all the other animals that we kill in existing at all, right? And you just brought it right back to it's mammals and argument. animals with backbones. To and animal agriculture. Very, very narrow. No, this is animal agriculture. This yeah. is 99% of the well, abuse and cruelty that I happens. Eat, I won't eat animals with backbones. Why don't you say you just be vegan and stop paying for animal abuse? Because I don't want to be a vegan. So you want to pay for animal I think abuse? Veganism is very unhealthy and very extremist. It's nothing to do with health. I'm fine. I'm healthy. I could run you around the block. I just did a 100k run. How old are you? I'm uh, 33. Yeah. Come back in 30 years' time and do that. I know 30 people. That's, that's, that's fucking pathetic. I know a world record holding vegan uh, runner who's 30 years older than me. So what? Yeah, I'm saying they're healthier so than you. Do you drink? Do you drink? How do you justify this abuse? Yeah, uh, but you just you just had a go at me, right? Don't drink. You don't drink. Yeah, well, I drink, I used to smoke, yeah. and I eat meat. There's no possible way. I don't I'm care not, about I'm your health. Like, I'm not going to run around a block. I don't care about your health. Eat you, and that's a silly thing for you to say. I care about the animals. I don't you care about your health. Very silly, though. I don't care about your health. But I'm saying you said something extremely silly. It's not about health I for mean, me. I know you're filming this. You will edit this in any way you no, like. No. And it won't be edited. An extremely capable editor. It won't be edited. Can make me look like an idiot, and I accept that. I won't be edited. I won't be editing this. Well, I don't know what you're going to do with this. We won't be editing this. Yeah. This will be completely. F uh, f so what are you going to do with it? I'm going to. I'm just want you to admit that you're paying for animal abuse, and you won't stop. Well, I don't see why I should. 
Because, because it, I well, don't, well, I don't accept your premise. Well, I'll tell you right now, you're paying for animal abuse and you won't stop because you don't care about animals, yep. you think they're no one. Yep, 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 and I got lured in here to talk about something when I wanted to talk about a different thing, Yeah. right, which you can't answer, so I think I've won my argument, because you, you will not even engage on the topic I, went, I, I sat down here at invitation to talk about, you won't engage on it. 99% of the abuse and cruelty... ...of veganism. That's the extremism of veganism. This is extreme. This is extreme. What you pay for every said single day is extreme. Said you're wrong. This is extreme. Not me trying to stop it. I said you're I'm wrong. an animal rights person. Is that extreme? I have. That's there are animal rights people who are not vegans. I, I don't give a fuck about them. I'm talking about me. I'm a vegan, consistent, morally consistent animal rights person. Okay, so after Jesus Christ, you're the next great person on the world. No, I'm saying I don't pay for animals to be stabbed. Doesn't make me a great person. That you are a great person. Doesn't make me a great person to oppose this horrible cruelty. It makes you a horrible person to pay for this knowingly, and you worked in an abattoir. You know, you can't avoid that. What do you expect me to do? Go back in time? You're like, oh, animals aren't someone. Who says that? Well, I do. Yeah, that's abusive. That's most cruel. People, the vast majority of people would no, say not, that. Most people don't didn't work in a slaughterhouse most like you. Won't even sit down and engage in this conversation. Yeah, with because you. you thought you'd come up all smart like oysters. No, no, no. When, when animals have been tortured. See, this is the problem. You think I've come here to be smart? I've come here to engage sincerely, and I haven't had a chance to have the discussion I wanted to have. Okay. Let Last me, time there were some vegan activists in this mall. I had a long discussion okay. with a much more polite young man. I'm not trying to be Who polite. was extremely willing to engage and extremely willing to think about it. I actually was hoping he'd be around here. Why aren't you vegan then? Because he wanted to answer my question. Why aren't you vegan then? To look into it because I don't. So it didn't work where he did, hey? So it's not going to work. Nothing anyone does is going to work with you. I don't have to try to be nice to you. That's the thing. I'm telling you you're an animal abuser. You're missing the point again. I'm telling you you're an animal abuser. That's what I'm telling you. missing the point again. Right, you are missing the point. No, the point is, I'm not trying to be polite to you. Yeah, I'm not trying to convince you. I'm just trying to tell you this is what's happening. I don't, I don't expect you to be polite to no. me. What, do you want me to wipe your bum I'm for you? Surprised. Well, that's a very rude thing for you to well, say. Well, I'm not, I'm not here to be your parent. I'm here to tell you this is what's happening to animals. I, I have sons older than you. I don't right? care. You're not going to be my parent. Are you going to teach them to, to abuse animals? What do you mean by that? Are you going to teach them to abuse animals, your children? Well, Show you them eat, this. They, Show them this. They eat meat. And Show them this. Show them this, my friend. Why do I have to show them that? Show, them, other, show other them that stuff. you don't care about this. Tell them you don't care. Stuff. Look, mate. They can see other stuff. I obviously give a fuck about these animals, yeah? Uh, it's obvious to you. What? That you do? I care about this. No, I think you care about yourself. Really? Yeah. Why? I think you care about how self-righteous you can be. Not at all. I think that's what it is. You know, I used to I be a gang member. Well, well, so what? You know, I used to hurt people. So what? You know, now I've changed. Yeah. I'm doing, doing my best for yeah. to redeem myself. Yeah. And part of that is defending yeah. these animals. Where do you get this redemption? I'm trying to help these animals who can't help. Your redemption. I feel bad for what I've done in my past. Yeah, but okay? how does it redeem? And I feel bad for paying for this for years. Yeah. You know, I used to eat steak just like you. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not free from blood on my hands. Yeah. So I was paying for this. Yeah. I feel bad. I'm trying to stop yeah. other people That's from paying right. for this but as well. I don't well. think you're going to get people to do that by hectoring them. By what? By hectoring them. I don't look. You might not agree with my approach. Yeah. Because I'm making you feel maybe a bit uncomfortable no, here. I'm, I'm not I'm being not, polite. I'm not even slightly uncomfortable. I'm just being dead set truthful with you how I feel about this and about your excuses for this. Well, I don't know what you... So what? Yeah. Yeah, big okay. deal. Anyway, I haven't been able to engage in the topic I would like to engage in. The other young vegan I spoke to was very, very... What was his name? Willing. I don't, can't remember his name. And he's more polite to you? He was, he was prepared... I don't care how polite he was to me. Was he what he was prepared to do, he was very persuasive, but he was also prepared to think about the question, for instance, what is the distinguishing point between plants and animals and fungi? Where does this thing, where does it, where does it actually cut in? Consciousness, sentience, the desire to live and, and the feeling of suffering, wanting to avoid that. Sentience, consciousness, like what you're experiencing now. Right, so you're really saying that this is limited. See, that's not veganism, that's about uh, the level of uh, neural complexity inherent in the animal. I think you matter because you're sentient and you're conscious right now and you, you don't want to be hurt, you don't want to be enslaved, that's why you matter. I want you to extend that to these animals that you abuse. Well, you're talking about, oh, there's some seafood. Uh, there's, it's a matter of neural complexity, isn't it? A matter of sim simple sentience, consciousness. Yeah, but where do you d define that? Where do I draw the line? Yeah. When you're not sentient anymore, you don't matter. But how do you know? When you're brain dead, you don't matter. Carrots don't matter to me. What about animals without brains? 
Animals without brains? Are they sentient? Well, that's my question. Well, do they have nerves? Do they feel pain? Do you think any kind of nerve makes you sentient? So why do you eat steak? Do you care about sentience? No, I love steak. I like steak because you I like consciousness. You know when you brown a steak and the nice crust on it? You like the taste? Black pepper and some red wine. It's good. Do you like the taste of animal abuse? Love it. Yeah. Love so it. you obviously don't care about animals. So you only try to debate a vegan and go, hey, what about oysters? You don't really care about the topic. I actually, I spoke to somebody about this a while ago. I wanted to have, a, I was hoping I'd get a follow up on where I was going, but you obviously aren't engaging on the question you don't of care about animals complexity you're talking about how nice they taste to me about that and it seems pointless so look it's uh it's a shame we couldn't have had a more interesting discussion i'll come by another time because you guys do this i'll be back here and there'll be other people doing tomorrow this as well. maybe be more nicer to you no there'll be other people doing it and that's the point okay. i'll be able to have a proper conversation with somebody who's who's prepared to engage on the topic but you know, you know okay. good luck talking to other people stop being an animal abuser and go vegan Yeah, so look, anyone out there who even tries to tell me they didn't like my approach, go away, go away, because that man there was a conscious animal abuser, okay? He already spoke to a polite vegan. I'm just here to tell him that he's an animal abuser and show him. All he wanted to tell me about is how nice the body of an innocent animal tasted. So, so that, that this here is proof that it doesn't matter how you act. He spoke to a polite vegan. He spoke to me, okay? And he still isn't willing to change. So there's always gonna be people who aren't willing. That's the point. Now, I prefer to be straight out with people, okay? Look what's happening to these animals. Look at it. And he wants to talk about this microphone and an oyster and all these other extraneous issues. He wasn't here to have a, a discussion about the true cruelty, the cruelty in his stake. So anyone out there who watched that and agrees with his position to justify animal abuse actually reflect and think, who here's on the right side of justice here? Is it me? Am I being aggressive? Or is what happening to these animals aggressive and people like him who try to justify it, is that aggressive? Think about it. He was, a, he was a proud animal abuser, there's no question about it. He didn't give a